Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Eli. Today we're going to talk about how I was able to get rid of my cystic acne. Well, before I start, I'm just going to show some videos of how I used to look before and how I look now. Then we just get right into the video. Acne can be caused by a variety of things such as stress, hormones, environmental factors, diet, skincare routine, and the list goes on. If you're watching this video and you're a teenager, I want you to understand that do not be too hard on yourself because it could be hormonal changes that you're going through. It's a phase and you're going to get over it. Do not use multiple acne products. It's one thing that if you have acne, you just can't run away from it, right? It's like everywhere you go, everybody's a doctor. Everybody's prescribing it. Don't do it. Use one product, watch the process. And one thing that I noticed before my acne got better, it got worse. Like it, my face, it came out. I said, Nina, I pee pee. Nina, I pee 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 ba and sana. So everything is going to come out. So just give it time. Give yourself time. Don't be too hard on yourself. And don't be listening to people that will tell you that your acne will go in two weeks, one week. It's a fantasy. Stop living in that world and living with the reality. Acne takes time to go. Don't let people lie to you that it's going to go in one week. It's not going to go in one week. It's going to take time. And give yourself that grace. Please, don't be too hard on yourself. This is so hard for people with acne. Don't scrub punch touch none of that don't do that don't do it i know it's so hard if you have acne i'm telling you i know the struggle y'all i know the struggle sometimes you see a bump on your face you're like i want to pop this off especially if you have somewhere else to go like within the day you're like you know what let me just pop this and don't do that don't 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 do that don't if i catch you Touching your face again. <sighs> you and I are going to your eye. The reason being that your body has a natural defensive mechanism called inflammation. What is inflammation? It is a natural process that happens that brings out unwanted skin cells, dead cells, debris, all of that to the skin surface in a form of a pimple so what happens when you try to pop it when you pop it some will come out and the rest will go back into the surrounding area where the acne was do you get the analogy i'm trying to tell you exactly so it will push back into your skin and then within the next three days those that pushed around the skin will form another pimple will form another pimple will form another pimple and you're probably asking me so what should i do should I leave it like that? Yes, leave it like that. All you need to do is wash your face. Leave it like that. I know it is so annoying. Sometimes you just want to get leave it like that. What happens? It gets dry. The debris and everything inside the the pimple it will get dry and it will just like fall off. Literally, it will shrink off. And when it shrinks off too, it won't leave blemishes and marks on your face and that's the best part so please 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 refrain from popping your pimples and touching your face and that leads me to my next point stop touching your face oh my goodness coming from somebody that is a huge huge, huge germaphobe i hate it i hate it with passion when people touch their face ah, people touch me and all that don't touch me keep your hands to yourself you don't know you touch doorknobs, elevator button, you touch car doors, the doors at your home, your phone, the phone, bro, bro, the phone, the phone. The phone is a huge one, but you, I come to the phone. Let me finish what I'm talking about. It's so frustrating and tempting if you have acne. You just have the urge to just touch your face, see how the process is going. Is there any progress? Is there, there's no progress. You have acne. It is what it is. Stop touching it. If you look at if you want to see how it looks, it's looking, get a mirror. Look at your face. You're like, ah, hmm, I'm so beautiful. And these dots on my face, ha, they make me look like beautiful chocolate cake. That was why I used to always make myself feel better. I'm like, I'm a chocolate cake. Like, I'm beautiful. I'm a chocolate cake, okay? And I'm dark skin too, so I'm a chocolate cake. Actually, thinking about it now that was a bit childish but it got me through the moment and that's what's important fun fact 
did you know that your phone is the dirtiest thing? Well, not my phone though, because I'll be wiping my phone. It's a sterile alcohol swipe, so I'm always wiping my phone down, washing my hands, sanitizing my hands, because I don't want no germs, okay? I'm not, I don't do germs. If people that know me, they know. I don't do germs, I'm sorry. So stop touching your face. Please, please, I beg you, stop touching your face. How you can get rid of acne starts from within. And this is what I always tell people. It starts from within. If your inner is corrupted, if your inner is not healthy, if your inner is too greasy, best believe it will show on the outer. So let's start with drinking water. You have to drink lots and lots of water than the average person. Than what you would drink as a normal person who is not even battling with acne or anything. So I remember at the peak of my acne and everything, I would go to school with like a gallon of water and I would drink that every single day. Sometimes I'll go like drinking two gallons of water and people with water and people with see me and they're like, wait, how are you able to walk around with this? I'm like, girl, if only you knew. If we are talking about acne, the importance of good hydration cannot be ignored or disregarded. So blood is a channel through which the body receives oxygen therefore staying hydrated means that all your body cells your facial skin cells and everything is receiving adequate oxygen so drink more water okay make sure that you wash your face at least twice daily i literally used to tell people that my face is one of the cleanest parts of my body because of the frustration that came with having acne i'll just find myself always washing my face washing my face washing my face washing my face and what that ended up doing was reducing the natural flow that the facial skin will produce to you know protect the skin and all of that so do everything in moderation don't let the frustration that you do over wash your face or under wash your face i always use these three points to wash my face number one when i wake up number two before i go to bed number three when i have a sweaty face like after an activity that requires you to be mobile or active i will wash my face i am not walking around with no sweat on my face and to my ladies if you have acne like cystic bad acne pam, and you're trying to get rid of it i would consider you stay away from makeup products i'm not here to tell you what to do and what not to do i'm just sharing what helped me okay stay away from makeup products at least for some time let your face breathe please if you have to wear makeup you know go out look cute girl i'm rooting for you but i'm watching you though because you can't keep it on for long hours so have makeup removers make sure that when you remove everything the last sheet that you use on your face has to be clear that way it will give you a bit of assurance that at least most of the makeup product is off from your face and then you go ahead and exfoliate because your pores are open exfoliate get everything outside and then you wash your face and you moisturize so thinking about the process of actually going through all that after wearing makeup personally me personally though but me personally though, personally me though me personally though i wasn't doing makeup y'all nada the next thing my mommy's calling is your hair i know y'all be liking y'all some good buzz down 30 inch 24 14 whatever inch y'all got be careful do not go to bed with your hair and like sleep on your pillow like this and sleep with the hair around with the hair everywhere on the bed advise yourself okay i'm not gonna come here and tell you again and again and again the next time i will come here and i would have to repeat myself it's going to be more capish capish laviato but don't do it get a bonnet hair bonnet where's my hair bonnet make sure your hair is properly packed before you sleep because the oils in the hair your hair is a carrier of oils all the things that you use the products and everything it carries it so if it's on your face and all that it's just going to irritate your skin i don't want it so make sure your hair is up and when you're sleeping if you're wearing a wig don't let your hair be touching your face you are beautiful you're confident and you're working so hard to make sure huh. Don't tell me my wig was shifted this one time because there's no way I'm redoing this video over again because of the shifted wig. It's not happening. Please. So, 
but remember your, your acne does not define who you are you're beautiful so remember god loves you and if you haven't given your life to him there's an opportunity for you to do so and if you can pray with me just pray with me say father lord i thank you for this moment right now i know it's so random but i believe that you came to die for me I believe you're my savior and I thank you for saving me and giving me a place with you in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. You stay cute. I just need one request from you. And no, it's not telling you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's telling you to stay beautiful. Well, you can subscribe if you want to. But <laughs> Bye.